We'd like to introduce an interactive, fun, and educational website that tells the story of the 1868 Hayward Fault earthquake. What is unique about this website is that it utilizes the interactive software Google Earth to illustrate the story. Looking at the website, the website describes the significance of geologic features and allows the reader to download a collection of geologic data into Google Earth for further viewing and examination. The collection consists of a variety of data, which progresses from a broad geologic background down to Bay Area faulting, specifics about the 1868 earthquake, and then touches on some modern geologic concerns and provides resources for earthquake preparedness. This is just one of several Google Earth products that the USGS provides to the public and is intended to educate people not only about the 1868 earthquake, but also just why earthquakes occur in the Bay Area. For understanding the causes and effects of past earthquakes like the 1868 is an important step in preparing oneself for the next big earthquake. Today we're going to show you highlights of the virtual tour of the 1868 earthquake. Heather has already downloaded several layers into Google Earth. But keep in mind that there is a lot more information and map layers on the website to explore. So let's begin our short tour by examining the faults of the Bay Area. This particular layer can answer the question, how close to a fault do I live? In Google Earth, you can type in an address and measure the distance from your home to one of the seven active Bay Area faults. The virtual tour further explains the modern methods used by scientists to study these faults. Earthquakes are a frequent occurrence in the Bay Area. We can see just how seismically active the Bay Area faults are with this animation of 40 years of earthquakes. These are of magnitude three and larger, those earthquakes that are essentially large enough to be felt. Notice the, how the earthquakes highlight the faults and also notice the areas that lacking earthquakes and segments of the faults where there's swarms of earthquakes like the 1989 Loma Prieta sequence that will be coming in to view in a moment. There. What is clear from the data layer, from this data layer, is that earthquakes are a fact of life in the Bay Area and f future earthquakes, both small and large, are inevitable. On the subject of past earthquakes, let's talk about the 1868 earthquake. What was the Bay Area like in 1868? This data layer helps paint the picture of the sparsely populated Bay Area in 1868. In yellow are the major transportation conduits of the time. It was very different than today. Only 260,000 people lived in the Bay Area compared to 7 million people today. On the morning of October 21st, 1868, the Hayward Fault revealed itself in a big way. A magnitude 6.8 earthquake ruptured nearly 30 miles of its trace through what was mostly ranch land at the time. Shaking from the earthquake was most intense near the fault rupture, but it was felt throughout the region. We know this from historic photographs and written accounts. Scientists have used historic photos and accounts to produce this map depicting shaking intensity from the earthquake. Notice the broad extent of shaking, of strong shaking throughout the region. We call this map a shake map, and this particular shake map is important in that it illustrates the amount of shaking that the Hayward Fault once produced and what we may experience in the future. As I said before, damage from this earthquake is documented in photographs and written accounts. We have relocated a collection of photographs and written accounts to the original location of, and, and, and the photographs to their original perspective in which they are taken. These photographs are interesting in that they show the degree of damage sustained in a particular area. But they're also interesting in how they depict just how different life and landscape was back in 1868. So we'll zoom in now to an area which experienced some of the heaviest uh, shaking intensity in Hayward and examine a flour mill which was completely tipped over by the main shock of the earthquake. In the foreground here we see a building that is completely tipped over. As we move over to the south, we can look at a warehouse, the Edmondson Warehouse, which had completely collapsed from the earthquake. This is the current location of the Hayward Public Library. So this concludes your short guided tour of the virtual tour of the Hayward Fault, 1868 Hayward Fault earthquake. But we wish for the public to fly themselves through earthquake country, examine the many map layers provided within the virtual tour website, 
and gain a regional perspective of the geology and faulting system of the Bay Area and understand the significance of the 1868 earthquake along the Hayward Fault.